Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com. Today we're going to be talking about changing a number in base B, so anything, and changing it to base 10. Now in our first example, we have 1654. It's currently in base 7, meaning it can only be used numbers 1 through 6, and we're trying to convert it to base 10. Now to make things easier, I'm going to go ahead and write 0, 1, 2, 3 above these numbers. If it was more numbers over here, we'd add 4, 5, 6, keep going. And those are important because it helps us remember how to solve this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take 7 cubed, so that's 3, and then we're going to multiply that by 1, which is the number there. We're going to add that to 7 squared, which is our number right here, times 6. We're going to add that by 7 to the first power, times 5. And then we're going to add that to 7 to the 0th power times 4. We're going to add all those up together, and that's going to give us our answer to base 10. So 7 times 7 is 49, times 7 is 343. 343 plus 7 times 7 is 49 again. 49 times 6 is 294. 7 to the first power is 7, times 5 is 35, so we'll add 35. And then 7 to the 0th power is 1, so 1 times 4 is 4. And when you add all of these up, you get 676. So 1654 base 7 is equal to 676 base 10. Next example we're going to look at is 32213 base 4. We're going to change it to base 10 again. Just to help out again, we're going to add our 0, 1, 2, 3, and this time we actually have 4, so we'll add that. And these are to the powers that we're going to take our base to. So for example, we're going to take our base 4 to the 4th power, multiply it by the number underneath it, so in this case it's 3, so times 3. We're going to add it by the next set, which is 4 cubed times 2. We're going to add this to 4 squared times 2. Add this to 4 to the first power. Number underneath it is 1, so times 1. And then the last one is 4 to the 0th power times 3. The number underneath it right here. So as we come through 4 to the 4th power, you can do 16 times 16, 64 times 4, whichever you would like, it gives us 256. Multiply by 3 is going to give us 768. We're going to add that, so 4 cubed, 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64. Multiply that by 2, 128. We're going to add that to 4 squared, 16 times 2 is 32. We're going to add that to 4, 4 times 1. And then the last one, 4 to the 0 power is 1 times 3 is 3. So when we add up all of these numbers, we get 935. So 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, base 4 is equivalent to 935, base 10. Last example we're going to be looking at is 4, 7, 1, base 8, converting it to base 10. We'll go ahead and write our numbers above to make it easier for everyone to remember. So the first thing, we're going to take 8 to the second power. We're going to multiply it by the number underneath it, which is 4. We're going to add that to 8 to the first power times 7, number underneath it. Add that to 8 to the 0th power times 1. So if we come through 64 times 4, we know from our last example is 256. We're going to add that to 8 to the first power is 8 times 7 is 56. And we'll add all of this up to 1. So 256 plus 56. 312 and plus 1 is 313. So 471 base 8 is equivalent to 313 base 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video learning how to convert a number base B, so anything out there, to base 10. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.